What's happening, hardscapers? Today, I want to be talking to you about dense grade versus open graded aggregates, where we use them in my business, and what the applications are for them. Let's get into this. So as of late, especially online and what I see on Instagram, follow us at How to Hardscape on Instagram and at I am a Hardscaper for more hardscape inspiration and hardscape content there as well. But what I see more and more is this embracing of open graded aggregates, this open graded base in hardscapes. And I love it. It's something that I do in my business as well. I really embrace the use of open graded aggregates. And I'm going to talk about in this video the application of open graded aggregates, at least in my business, as well as the use of dense graded aggregates. Because even though I really believe in the use of open graded aggregates, I still think that dense graded aggregates still have their applications in the hardscape industry. And when I'm talking about dense graded aggregates, I'm not talking about stone dust. We have a video about stone dust on the channel that you should definitely check out. You can find it up probably up here, but stone dust is a no question you should never use in the hardscape industry even for the bedding layer. When I'm talking about dense graded aggregates, what I'm talking about is a granular A, an A gravel, a three quarter minus, whatever it is called in your area. This is essentially a three quarter inch crushed stone down to fines and is a road base typically. It is actually what ICPI, the Interlocking Concrete Pavement Institute, recommends for the base of hardscapes. It's what we would call a traditional base, at least in my business. And though it allows water to freely drain through the material, it doesn't allow the flow of water like an open graded aggregate would. And this would be a three quarter inch crushed, angular crushed stone that has no fines in it and allows water to percolate all the way through it in an open graded base application. Now in my business, regardless of whether or not we're doing a dense graded base or an open graded base, I actually still use HPB or high performance bedding. It's a one quarter inch crushed stone, no fines, it's clean. And it's actually what you need to use in an open graded base, but we also use it on top of our A gravel or granular A, the dense graded base as well, in replacement of concrete sand, because I find it's much easier to work with than concrete sand. Though there is an argument there that concrete sand allows for the vertical interlock of the interlocking concrete pavement when it is compacted during the final consolidation of the jointing compound and you see that that concrete sand work its way down from the bottom of the joints to meet the jointing compound down from the top. That would definitely be a legitimate argument to go with concrete sand for larger load projects, maybe such as a driveway. But we haven't found a negative with using HPB in my business just yet for the bedding layer. However, we still do use a dense graded aggregate in some applications. For example, when I started my business, I actually reached out to everyone that I knew in the industry and in other complementary industries. For example, I knew some people that were in the asphalt business and I know with the asphalt business, a lot of the times there's a interlock front walkway that needs to be either lifted and relayed or just completely redone. So I reached out to the people that I knew there, let them know I was starting a business and that I was more than willing to do that type of work for that front walkway after they've come in and done their project. Now, asphalt companies use a dense graded aggregate for their base, an A gravel road base. So it makes more sense for those front walkways to be done with also a dense graded aggregate to tie into that driveway rather than an open graded base. So in those applications, that's when we're going to use a dense graded aggregate for a front walkway. Now, if it's a raised front walkway, then we're going to go with an open graded base and we're going to drain that water away from the driveway that makes it through the system and down to our subgrade. However, in a backyard, if we're doing a raised patio, we're definitely going to go open graded base for that. We just find it works so much better. It allows us to control the flow of water that enters the system. And there's just so many benefits that go along with open graded base as well. One being the free flow of water through the system, as well as the lack of freeze thaw cycles that that system experiences due to that flow of water through it. Now, backyard patio is on grade. We're going to offer a synthetic base for that. So we don't have to worry about whether or not we're using an open graded base or a dense graded base in those on grade patios in the backyard. When it comes to retaining walls though, if we are building a retaining wall, 
where there's no lower area to drain water to, we're gonna opt for a dense graded base. This allows us to get our pipe elevated in behind the retaining wall to collect that water and then to redirect it elsewhere in that property where it sees fit. If there is a lower area near the retaining wall where we can drain water to, then we're going to opt for an open graded aggregate in that system because then the drainage pipe gets lowered in that system. It allows for the collection of water and allows for that free flow from the drainage area in behind the wall, the backfill area, preparing the base as an open graded base with the retaining wall it ties in nicely with that backfill area being that it's the same material that we're going to use so when we can we will opt for an open graded base with a retaining wall regardless of the system that you use it's important to understand the applications and why you're using them in that certain application open graded aggregates and dense graded aggregates have their applications in certain systems at least in my business if you differ in any way leave a comment below let me know what you use in certain applications and why. I'd love to open up a conversation about this and to talk further with you about what you do in your business and why. Regardless of the aggregate that you're using, you wanna make sure that these are angular crushed stones, that there's no rounds in that aggregate because you won't get the same lockup when it comes to compacting them. And even with open graded aggregates, you do need to compact them. A lot of times it gets talked about that it's 90 plus percent compacted just by dumping it out but this is not the case. It still does require the same amount of compaction that a dense graded aggregate would. It's just a different type of compaction because you're essentially reorienting the angular crushed stone rather than compacting the dense graded aggregate using water to be able to get that optimal compaction rate for that dense graded aggregate. Like I've said in this video, there's no one way better than the other. I believe that each of them has their own applications, but if you haven't yet checked out open graded base, now's the time to, and to see if it works well in your business for the applications that you are installing. There's so many benefits that go along with this. And later in the season, I'll be doing an open graded base video on this channel. So be sure to be subscribed to this channel for more hardscaping content like that, as well as we've established a membership community where we've got courses on interlocking concrete pavement, different base preparation methods, techniques, tools, equipment, everything that you need to know about with installing interlocking concrete pavement as well as segmental retaining walls, features, and the basics of running your business with knowing your numbers and so much more. So if you want to join that, the link is in the description below as well to our membership community. If you found this video at all helpful, a like really goes a long way. I would appreciate that so much. Again, comment below what you use in your business and why. I'd love to open that conversation with you and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more hardscaping content. Thank you so much for watching.